Well, welcome back. NAB 2019 day. How many days has it been? Um, it's only been one day, and yeah. we're at the beginning of this the second. Is the, this is really? Well, actually, it's the third. It just depends who you ask. Yeah. See, this is my first time. They warned me that it would be a, a giant blur it's for about many my, reasons. It's about my eighth day, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but it's great. We it love NAB. It is cool. Yes. Uh, so welcome. We are uh, BSW TV broadcasting live from the NAB in beautiful Las Vegas. Uh, we have our first guest this morning. Would you mind if I just read this? Not that I don't know who you are because I've been editing your beautiful face and uh, content for many years for BSW. Do what you got to do, man. You just tell me if any of this is correct as I go along. It Cr probably isn't. <laughs> Chris Crump, Senior Director, Sales and Marketing. You are known as... The man. Really? You'll have to explain that one. Okay. Uh, you've uh, been in the broadcast biz for 30 years. Holy cow, yes. Yeah. 15 with Comrex? Yes, I have been. That's, uh, that's a good track record. Mm. Oh, by the way, hey, John Lynch, come on over here. The king of Codex is, is here. Yeah, and you don't have your crown and your cape and your scepter. No, it wouldn't fit in the traveling package this year. So All right, we'll have to get you a new one. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think that'd be necessary. Oh, I think it would be one awesome. Was, uh, it was wonderful. Thank As you. a matter of fact, would you like to pop in here uh, midstream and just because I know this is you love this stuff, and that's Did why I, you're the king. Which, in fact, I'll tell you what, you sit down, talk sit about, down. and then I'll be back. <laughs> Not that I have to go to the bathroom <laughs> or anything. Oh, okay, yeah. Hey, John, you could read this. Come on, I can read this. While he. Um, he needs to go talk to a man about... Um, I can read that. Where do I start? I King of Codex. I am starting where? Where, where is it? Uh, uh, intro where? segment. Oh, yeah, I got to I about... Read, I gotta, get my got to about there. Okay, all right. Chris was destined for greatness, obviously. Comrex, of course, known for their rock-solid Codex and broadcast solutions. 58 years worth, to be exact. Chris says here you're a CBNE certified broadcast networking engineer with the Society of Broadcast Engineers. That is correct. What That's did it take to get certified? Uh, I had to read a lot of books, and I had to study, which I hadn't had to do forever, and uh, took a three-hour test, and apparently I passed. Three hours, holy bleep. That is serious uh, certifications, though, that happen through the SBE. They do a lot of that kind of stuff. Yeah, and you know something, when you're studying for like the CBNE or any of the certifications for SBE, you really find out what you don't know about your job and it makes you want to learn more. So that's why I love doing it. Well, tell us about what's happening right now with Comrex and what's coming out soon. Well, right now at Comrex, I should be over at the booth selling product, but I'm here we'll at BSW's booth instead. Minutes, yeah. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> so um, we have a couple of um, uh, products that we introduced previously that we've been selling, and BSW has been selling like hotcakes, like the Opal. The Opal is our IP audio gateway. And basically, it's great for doing guest interviews. So if you have a guest that you want to have on your radio station the or on coach, your podcast. The mayor, the governor, whatever, that aren't in studio. Exactly. Uh, with this device, you can create a little link, and you can send it to them in an email or a text. They click on it. It opens up a web browser uh, on a laptop or a smartphone, and they hit a connect button, and they're basically delivering high-quality FM broadcast studio-quality audio through a web browser to this device. For those of us who have been working around the Kodak world since it began in the early 90s, the big difference here, it's a one-box solution. Usually, we have a box at each end. Here, just the one and that email link, and you're good to go, and they sound like they're right next to you in the studio. It is a beautiful thing indeed. And you can actually have two callers on the air at the same time because you have two inputs, so you can feed a mix minus to each one, and you have two outputs. So you can have two guests on the air at the exact same time. Uh, each using a web browser. So this is great for like coaches shows or podcasts where you want to have two guests recorded together uh, or even just having a having the mayor like you said or like a sports figure and you don't want them to sound like Kaka calling in on a cell phone. 
So this really improves the Cell audio phone. quality. Yeah. Well, and it doesn't matter whether you're two guests, all right, one of them's in Moscow, Idaho, and the other one's in Moscow, Russia, they're still going to sound like they're in your studio. That is a great point. And, oh. continuing on. So this box is actually probably our best-selling box. This is the BrickLink, and the BrickLink is an IP audio codec, but so much more. It's great for HTTP streaming, so you could actually use it to um, stream your audio to up to 170 different listeners. Um, great for point-to-point, point-to-multipoint distribution, um, and it's a great ISDN replacement box. And we're selling a lot of these to voiceover studios, to uh, television stations and radio stations already know about this box. They use it all the time for things like uh, st uh, studio to transmitter links um, and even studio to studio links. So this has been a really great box for us, and as you know. And in stock at BSW, little self-plug there. By the way, well, let's look at Access NX. Access NX is uh, pretty cool. It's actually an update to our ubiquitous Access to USB portable. This is the Access NX portable. And basically, we listen to customers that really love the Access to USB, but they wanted one more mic input and headphone output, so we added one to it. Um, and since the Access, portable, Access to USB came out in 2006, we've done a lot of internal improvements to it. Um, but we really needed to make a, a huge improvement on this device. So instead of having that state-of-the-art 2006 3-inch uh, resistive touchscreen, we want the state-of-the-art 2018-2019 uh, 5-inch capacitive touchscreen, so no more stylus. And with all this extra real estate, we can do so many cool things with the screen. We have uh, a lot of uh, control functions and things like uh, being able to mute individual mic inputs, mute all inputs, mute all outputs, all on the nice touch screen, nice metering and all kinds of features in here. And again, two microline level inputs, uh, digital encoders instead of analog pots, so you don't have that <coughs> noisy thing going on. Yep. Um, you also have a multi-segment LED in the actual gain knob, so it goes green, yellow, red. So if it gets too loud uh, and someone's like, why is it so loud? You see the red knob? Turn that down. Okay. So a lot of good visual indicators on this device. And again, um, we listen to customers, and instead of having the battery hanging out, we actually put it on the inside. So it's all nice and tucked in. You have an additional four-channel mixer, which is optional. So you have a total of six mic uh, inputs and headphone outputs, all in this nice little package, battery operated, lasts about six hours. Great for sports broadcast, uh, talk shows, any, any kind of uh, need where you need to get your audio from the remote field back to the studio. Uh, the Access NX is the ticket used by broadcasters all over the world. And compared to when I was broadcasting sports at the high school level, a lot smaller because in a lot of those venues, you have this much space to work with, it fits right in. It does indeed. Now, one thing you don't have here, but I'm going to bring it up anyway. Okay. Because you have a television product. We do. Very popular, called the Live Shot. And the Live Shot actually came about because a lot of our radio customers that were familiar with the access to USB really loved it. They said, boy, wouldn't it be great if you could do something like this for video? And so we got together and we created the Live Shot IP video codec, which fits on the back of a camera. Um, and it will allow you to do two-way video. So not only can you send high quality studio over IP, which is 4G, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, broadband cable, uh, satellite, um, you can actually get return video and two IFB returns as well. Um, and it, again, it's available at BSW, uh, connects to a live shot rack back in the studio. And if you'd like to do a demo, contact the king of Codex and he'd be glad to help you out. We'll set you up, no problem. Thank you very much, Mike. Oh, no, 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 thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's switch again. There you go. Oh, Mike, by the way. Oh, yeah, well, you stick around. Yeah, I know. That I, was, by the way, my best interview ever. Okay, so I brought you a gift for, for you because you're the hardest working man in show business. <laughs> and that we blew our whole marketing budget on, on this you. swag for you. So. This made the whole trip worth it. Yeah. Chris Crump. And there's stuff in there, too. Oh, there is? Yeah, there's actually stuff in there. I don't know what's in there, though. There might be a... Wow, there's a flask. Oh, right on. Okay. You missed out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm st I, the king was here. I, I, I needed him, too. Okay. Is yeah. there anything else that we need to talk about? Know. Is there? Did we cover it is all? Is there anything else that you want to talk about? Well, we do have two new products oh, that see. will be shipping very, very soon. Um, the uh, first one is called Access NX Rack. 
So it's a nice companion to the Access NX Portable. Okay. And it is a basic replacement for our uh, ubiquitous Access rack mount codec. Uh, it should be available uh, in the next few weeks. And basically it's a, uh, a two-channel stereo IP audio codec uh, with the advantage of having a much more powerful processor. It has a default HTML5 interface, which is really nice. It's a really nice, clean interface. Doesn't depend on flash. Uh, and it's also AES67 uh, AES compatible. So if you have um, Axial Livewire, you have WheatNet, you have a Dante system, you'll be able to plug that in using an Ethernet cable instead of the XLRs. Uh, $3,000 list price available at uh, VSW. The other product that we're showing here at NAB is the Access Multi-Rack. And this is pretty interesting because it's basically a five-channel access codec. It's five access codecs in a single 19-inch rack mount uh, for $5,000. Again, it's got HTML5 interface and an AES67 compatible interface as well. So you can plug it into Axia, um, you plug it into WeetNet, um, or any of those AES67 compatible uh, audio over IP systems. Uh, $5,000 for five access in a single rack mount. Product mania here at NAB 2019. <laughs> nice toys. Hey, one, yeah. one last thing, and I'll tell all Please. of the customers of BSW. If you already own an access codec or a BrickLink, you can download the current firmware, which is 4.3 P6, update your unit, and you can actually see the HTML5 interface in that device. Um, just read the uh, release notes. It'll explain how you do it. Um, really it's simple, you just type in the IP address forward slash react, R-E-A-C-T, and it will bring up the new HTML5 interface. If you have any questions, you can get a hold of your friends at BSW, contact Comrex at 800-237-1776, and we can help you out as well. Um, or call Mike at home, and his number, what's your home number? Sure, here, I'll hold it up right now. <laughs> <laughs> get calls all the time. Okay, anyway, thanks for letting me talk today. So nice to meet you in person. Enjoy and, your uh, gifts. Johnny, nice job there. So uh, Comrex, broadcast reliable, and you can find all their great products at bswusa.com. Uh, right now we are switching over to Phil McCavity to uh, get this morning's weather forecast here in beautiful Las Vegas. Phil McCavity here, ready to give you crack weather reporting on I this saw this guy over here. I couldn't let Vegas. He, he, he As knows always, it's much quite more pleasant. about these things. Sunny, yeah. windy, sunny well, again, expected, and the smell of fried so onions so wafting from yeah, the strip. Thanks. Or at least I think that was onions. Hmm, As I think always. I'm going to hurl. Anyway, let's go live to the strip. As you can see, the crowd is lively, and the hustle and bustle show that Vegas is the place for the NAB convention. Make sure you stop by the scenic and luxurious Sands Hotel, where the weather is always pleasant. Oh, well, on second thought, uh, that hotel was a crumbling mess. What a dump. Phil McCavity, signing off until next time. Mm. Brr. Those weren't onions. <laughs> oh my. BSWUSA.com for Comrex stuff, and uh, we'll have more guests coming up here in about a half an hour, live from the NAB 2019 in Las Vegas. My name is Mike West. Thanks for joining us.
Hey there, I'm Nick from Gates Air for BSW. When it comes to IP codecs, there are many choices nowadays, some old and some new. Serving the radio industry since 1922, Gates Air has brought something unique to the codec game. Our IP-Link codecs are designed for use in STL applications, as well as remote audio contribution and distribution networks. IP-Link provides a level of flexibility, reliability, and network security not seen in any other audio over IP product. Let's check in with BSW's Mike West and take a quick look under the hood. Wait, when did we add superchargers? Mike? Mike? Oops, sorry guys, but you know, they do have similar features. For example, IP Link transports one or two bi-directional stereo audio channels. MPXP delivers FM composite baseband audio in AES-192 or analog formats. IP Link will encode the same audio source in multiple formats to multiple destinations using all the familiar coding algorithms. Metadata, relay logic, and HD data are transported time-aligned with your audio content. And reliability is achieved via dynamic stream splicing, dynamic jitter buffer, advanced forward error correction, error correction, error correction, intraplex live look, and IP Link exclusive offers network performance analytics, real-time monitoring, logging, and email alerts. Prioritize stream sources at the output with automatic failover from primary to secondary streams and backup audio sources including USB playlists. Network security is always on with three built-in independent network interface controllers, firewall on all three network ports, secure web browser user interface and SNMP network management, stream authentication using unique program identification number, and more. Thanks, Mike. There you have it. The sports car of IP Codex, Intraplex IP Link, feature rich, robust, reliable, secure, and available today through BSW. Let's try another take. You want me to do it again? Really? You know, guys, it's been seven hours. I think you should feed me, please. <laughs> Now, let's play! Welcome everyone, I'm your host Mike West. I'm sure you've all played before, but for the folks at home who haven't, here's how it works. Seven questions in 60 seconds, ranging from pop, culture, radio, trivia, golf, the Beatles, and complete nonsensory. You can pass all you like and are allowed to come back at the end to any unanswered questions. Whoever has the most questions correct in 60 seconds wins a crisp $1 bill from Tim's Wallet. Okay, let's meet today's contestant. Well, hello, and who are you? Uh, Nigel from Marketing again. Welcome back, Nigel. Thank you. Seven questions, 60 seconds. You can pass all you like. Return to any unanswered questions before the 60 seconds is up. Are you ready for the questions, Nigel? I'm ready as all be. Here we go. Let's start the clock now for Win Tim's Money. Question, what does the AM in AM radio represent? Uh, pass. Which pop album is the best selling of all time? Thriller. What was the name of the airplane Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens died in? Uh, pass. What character played by Jim Carrey jo uh, coined the catchphrase, all righty then? Ace Ventura. What herb is the main ingredients of pesto sauce? Uh, ooh. Uh, 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 cilantro, pass. What two colors combine to uh, make purple? Uh, black and, uh, no, purple, or uh, red and blue? Which microphone pattern is the smallest? Cardioid. Ah. Now, let's see how Tim does. Tim, let's see how well you do against Nigel. Let's start the clock at 60 seconds now. What does the AM and AM radio represent? Amplitude modulation. Which pop album is the best selling of all time? Uh, yeah. Peter Frampton. Uh, what was the name of the airplane Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens died in? Bummer. A prop plane. What character played by Jim Carrey coined the catchphrase, all righty then? Uh, 
Pet Detective Ace Ventura. What herb is the main ingredients of pesto sauce? Pesticides. What two colors combine to make purple? I would say uh, red and brown. Which microphone pattern is the smallest? Uh, super duper cardioid. All right, now let's compare. Nigel answered three questions correctly in 50 seconds. Tim answered three questions correctly in 54 seconds, which means Go team Nigel Tim. wins Tim's money. What? I thought it was for more, more time, not less time. Oh. oh. You want to know what you got wrong? Okay. All right. Uh, what does AM stand for in AM radio? Amplitude modulation. Which pop album that. is the best selling of all time? Michael Jackson. Thriller. Thriller. The name of the airplane Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens died in? The American Pie. Really? Bye bye. Hey, that, I just I learned something there. Too. What yeah. character played by Jim Carrey coined the catchphrase already? Then you both got that correct. Ace Venture, a pet detective. What herb is the main ingredients of pesto sauce? Basil. <sighs> basil. I said cilantro. What two colors combined to uh, make purple? Red and blue. A lot of people wouldn't know that. And so, which... so I have a question. Yes? Am I paying you people for this? Uh, a dollar. Okay. okay. Just wanted to pay. Okay. That's all I want to know. Okay. Should have covered that yeah. in the meeting. Yeah. 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 Uh, you did mornings, right? Oh, yeah. Morning drive? Um, Yours? Yeah. Morning guy. Yeah. Well, then you'll probably want a little bit of this before we get started. This is the only thing I got. That <laughs> got me through my morning show, you know. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Tequila! Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right, enough for you. Well, there you have it, folks. You win some, you dim some. Am I right, Tim? 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 Yeah, must be going to the bank with all that cash. All right, well, join us again next time for BSW's Win Tim's Money! Bye-bye, everybody!
called Georgia Introduced him to a gun Singing Georgia Wash your hands in the water Georgia Wash your hands in the water Hello there, and welcome back to NAB 2019 in Las Vegas. We're BSW TV, broadcasting live from this giant convention. I think something like uh, 120,000 people wow. show up. So that's that would be like the uh, that would be at everyone in Ann Arbor, Michigan, yeah, the <laughs> entire city. And, and something like 160 countries uh, represented here. Wow. I've never been here before, so I'm, I'm seriously overwhelmed. Oh, yeah. That's great. I, I thought this little area we were in was kind of it. But oh, yeah. No, it, keeps, it never seems to end. It, it's, yeah, it really, seriously just goes on and on. Uh, the, the man I'm uh, talking about uh, attendance and stuff with is Chris Nyman, product manager, Wired Products for Audio-Technica, talking on one of your microphones right now. And by gosh, so are you. Yeah. Uh, what are these? Now, this is the BP40. Kind of a legendary microphone, really. Yeah, it's you know, a couple of years old, but um, you know, it's just sort of our take on uh, the classic broadcast mic. I love it. Yeah. yeah, we've done a few tests in, in the studio back in Tacoma at BSW with these. And they, well, for my voice, yeah. Yeah, it my, sounds yeah, pretty, too, yeah. pretty darn cool. Yeah. So um, what else are you showing here at NAB 2019? Yeah, we have you know, a few new things, uh, I think, one of the biggest things we're, we're talking about the show is our, our podcaster streamer bundles. Uh, obviously that has grown infinitely in the last couple of years, so uh, we have some bundles that have everything you need, a boom arm, microphone, headphones, uh, and a couple different varieties in our 20 series, so. Is BSW USA doing a special for, uh, like a, a bundle special with you guys? I don't know if they're doing, a, I don't think you're doing a bundle special, but you definitely are carrying some of those bundles. Okay, well you call the people that know this stuff at bswusa.com, 1-800-426-8434, and they'll set you up with yeah. all of this cool gear. And they're, yeah, it's a great value. It can kind of put everything together for you. Uh, we were just talking before we went on live here on Facebook and uh, YouTube and the Twitter yeah. <laughs> that uh, you guys are involved with the Olympics. How did that whole relationship come about? Yeah, uh, so it just started, we, uh, we worked with uh, Dennis Baxter, who's a mixer, uh, starting in 96 in Atlanta and just continued that relationship uh, until it evolved. Uh, at the time, honestly, the Olympics, the, the IOC did not even have a, a specific broadcast arm. Hmm. So they then they created what we know as OBS. So that's the Olympic Broadcast Service. So the Olympic Broadcast Service. So they they handle all the broadcast related uh, tasks and things for the Olympics. Very cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that. Yeah, it's it's been a long relationship. Yeah. What else are you showing here at NAB? Um, we have a new headset actually. Uh, I know you guys have been really important for the success of the BPHS one, and so we have uh, sort of the 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 next generation of that BPHS line, we have the BPHS2. It's available in a couple different varieties. Um, so we're showing those, we have live demos here. If you're at the show, stop by and check it out. Okay, booth uh, number C6012. That's it. Can I come by and slap on a pair of cans? Absolutely. As we used to yeah. say in the radio business. We'd, we'd be happy. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, anything else that you'd like to? Uh, um, no, uh, no, just. Uh, did, did we cover all the products? You, you're gonna yeah. go back to your booth and they're gonna go high five. We've oh yeah, everything. for sure, for the AT products. Mostly you know, the bundles and the BPHS2. Um, uh, there's something we're working on with you guys. Yes, yeah, in uh, quarter three and four, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Can we talk about that yet? Sure. I don't know. Yeah, we definitely can. Okay, it's the, uh, it's the BSW 5-pack, the ATH BSW 5-pack, launching uh, third and fourth quarter. And uh, you can call BSW again and they'll tell you all about yeah. it. Yeah, we, we worked with uh, Brian Seeley, uh, and I worked on that for about a year. Uh, went back and forth, um, just trying to get a, a cost-effective you know, multi-unit pack for people to do a podcast or college radio or anything. You need you know, five-pack of headphones, so yeah, it should be, I think, July 
July or August. Great. Uh, also, before I let you go, I always like to ask about <laughs> what you guys do when you're not doing all this stuff. Yeah. You're a musician, yes? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't play as much as I used to, but uh, yeah, for many, many years, uh, played, played in an original funk rock regional touring band for nine years. Guitar player? Yeah, just guitar player, singer, mostly guitar. And, uh, what acts are you playing right now, man? Uh, I have a Paul Reed Smith oh. Custom 22. That's probably my main Those guitar. Those are sweet it's, uh, guitars. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Mesa. I'm a Mesa guy. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I You're play a music record. Well? Yeah, I record bands. My, my my kids play. All my boys oh, play music. So it's the best. Um, yeah, it's kind of become sort of a family affair, I guess. Pretty cool, Chris. Chris Nyman, product manager, Wired Products for Audio Technica. Thanks for sharing all these uh, cool products oh. with us, and uh, we're using your microphones. Yeah, and they sound pretty bitchin'. Yeah, thank you guys. I mean, thank, thank uh, VSW. Thanks, Mike. You, you betcha. Nice Appreciate meeting you, you in yeah. person. Great partner. Yes, VSWUSA.com for Audio Technica gear, or give us a call at one eight hundred or them a call at one eight hundred four two six eight four three four. We are live from NAB 2019 in Las Vegas. Let's see who's coming up. Uh, oh, we're going to talk about Araxa Systems with Ben Palmer. Stand by, or do whatever you want. Hi, I'm Mike West here for BSW. Ever wonder how voiceover artists do this? Testing one, two, three, f uh, four. <clears throat> Let me take that one again. Test it <clears throat> one more time. Is this on? Radio, TV, corporate, how-tos, and beyond. Voiceover artists can create a vocal landscape to sell, inform, explain, communicate, everything and anything. Having the voice helps. Boy, do I know. But having the right tools is just as important. Today we'll talk about one of the most popular VO microphones of all time. Now it may not be what you think. A $10,000 Studio 2 Class A goes into, goes out to microphone, uh-uh. A shotgun. Damn it, you gotta wait until I finish my sentence before you edit. Damn it. Sorry. The Sennheiser MKH-416 Shotgun Condenser Microphone has been the secret weapon for many voiceover artists for years. 
with its excellent directivity, compact design, high consonant articulation, low inherent self noise, and feedback rejection, you'll hear why it is the voiceover artist's go-to microphone. Let's try a comparison just for reference, shall we? For this demonstration, we will use some common microphones often used in voiceover. First, the Shure SM7B. Sunday, Monday, Sunday. Slappy's Car Emporium is having our weekly, yearly, hourly sale. Today and tomorrow. Everything must go. Everything must be sold. Move the metal. Now, the Rode NTG3. Sunday, Monday, Sunday. Slappy's Car Emporium is having our weekly, yearly, hourly sale today and tomorrow. Everything must go. Everything must be sold. Move the metal. And now the Rode NTG3 with the windscreen. Sunday, Monday, Sunday. Slappy's Car Emporium is having our weekly, yearly, hourly sale today and tomorrow. Everything must go. Everything must be sold. Move the metal. Finally, the Sennheiser MKH416. Sunday, Monday, Sunday. Slappy's Car Emporium is having our weekly, yearly, hourly sale today and tomorrow. Everything must go. Everything must be sold. Move the metal. And now the Sennheiser MKH416 with the windscreen. Sunday, Monday, Sunday. Slappy's Car Emporium is having our weekly, yearly, hourly sale today and tomorrow. Everything must go. Everything must be sold. Move the metal. Save big at BSW. From the microphone to the console, from the codec to the transmitter, BSW. Uh, oh, I was just uh, finishing up my BSW commercial. <laughs> big, big. The Sennheiser MKH416 is a voiceover weapon to be reckoned with. Contact BSW today and get your hands on one of these puppies. You, your listeners, your ears, everyone will thank you later. And thanks for watching. Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of BSW versus The Dump Button, where we pit real BSW employees against tongue twisters designed to get your station a big, fat FCC fine. So let's put that dump button to good use, shall we? Now, for radio, the dump button or profanity delay, I'll tell you, it's really f and fool. Oops, <laughs> dump button time. It's a life and money saver. Catching that four letter word just in time is an art. Well, actually, it's kind of a skill. Now, today, since we have none, we're going to pit BSW against the dump button. Hi there, I'm your host, Mike West. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to BSW versus the dump button. Let's meet today's contestant. Well, hi there, and what's your name? My name's Jamie Singer. Jamie, how long have you been at BSW? I have been with BSW for 14 years. That's a long time. And what do you do here at BSW? I sell gear. Gear? Gear. Gear. Equipment. Good Stuff. gear. BSW sells gear. <laughs> That's what the... Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, are you ready to uh, play your little game? I'm ready. Let's do this. Now, here's what happens. We have a tongue twister. I will read it once slowly, and then you have to read it three times quickly. All right? And once. if you make it through, you get to choose a prize from the mystery warehouse box of uh, good stuff. Ooh. All right? Okay. I okay, think so I can do that. Here it is. I'll read it slowly for you. All right. She shears sheep, shears sheep hours, and she slits sheets, slits sheets in towers. She splits in sinks and sits in showers. You ready? Sounds good. All right, three times, give it a go. Let's begin. She shares sheep, shares sheep for hours, and she slits sheets, slit sheets in towers and spits and sinks and sits and showers. Oh, I gotta do two more times. Okay, okay. She shares sheep, uh, she ships for hours and she slits sheets, uh, slit sheets in towers, she spits and sinks and sits and showers. One more time. She shares sheep, shares sleep for hours, and she slits sheets, slits sheets in towers. She spits in sinks and sits in showers. Wow! Yay. Unbelievable! Because that is <laughs> <difficult>. oh, <laughs> Let's get, let's bring out the big mystery box of prizes here. This is the most exciting part. 
Probably a lot of stuff that you sell because it's BSW gear. Gear. All right, you ready? This one feels promising. It's a box <laughs> with a yellow sticker. Now, since I don't sell gear here, what is it? Multiphones mini pod. Oh, it's a oh, Multiphones mini pod. Wow. Congratulations. Now, and I, thanks for playing. Do I get a key? Winner. Well, there you have it, folks. Another winner. And the warehouse box of mystery did not disappoint. Thanks for playing BSW versus the dump button. Be sure to check back for more episodes and, of course, more sitting, slipping, shipping slits. <laughs> Didn't get me, did ya? Dump that, Mr. Engineer, you m- Hi, I'm Mike West for BSW. Taking a look at the MXL BCD-1 dynamic microphone. This little guy not long ago would have been pigeonholed as only a lonely kick mic. But when BSW got their hands on it, it became a go-to microphone for voice, broadcast, and podcast. Let's give it a listen. The MXL BCD-1 is a dynamic cardioid pattern microphone with built-in swiveling shock mount, producing warm, rich tones to get the most out of any voice and any budget. With its excellent side rejection, this microphone is ideal for podcast in noisy and un un untreated acoustic environments. As quoted by a BCD-1 owning BSW customer, quote, this microphone is doing serious justice, end quote. For more information on the MXL BCD-1, visit bswusa.com. <laughs> Please make it stop. <laughs> and the video. Hi, Mike West here. Hey, gang. Pop quiz, hotshot. What's this? Now, I heard some of you, but not all of you. Ah, I heard one right answer. You. Me, me. Right there in the front. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Yeah. Uh, a flagship. Yes. Now, what's this? Weird. The Orban 8700 I, the flagship of the Orban fleet. <laughs> Let's check out this vessel. Who are you? I. The Orban 8700 I brings a number of features to bear. Exponential loudness brings hyper-compressed music back to life, revealing detail and increased impact while reducing listening fatigue and distortion. Built-in streaming server allows you to monitor the 8700i processed FM and HD audio wherever there is a LAN or internet connection using free Opus and MP3 codecs. Exclusive multipath mitigator phase corrector reduces multipath distortion without compromising stereo separation. Dante dual redundant audio over IP now with AES67 support via an easy software upgrade. Subharmonic synthesizer adds modern sounding bass punch to older recordings. Dual redundant power supplies and safety bypass relays ensure 24-7 operation with no dead air. <laughs> that was close. Wow, what a flagship, huh, folks? For more information, visit bswusa.com. Looking to demo the 8700i? Call BSW today. We can have the 8700i on your airwaves in a fortnight or overnight if you want. Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of BSW versus The Dump Button, where we pit real BSW employees against tongue twisters designed to get your station a big, fat FCC fine. So let's put that dump button to good use, shall we? Now, for radio, the dump button, or profanity delay, I'll tell you, it's really f bitch and fool. Oops, <laughs> dump button time. Is a life and money saver. Catching that four-letter word just in time is an art. Well, actually, it's kind of a skill. Now, today, since we have none, we're going to pit BSW against the dump button. Hi there, I'm your host, Mike West. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to BSW versus the dump button. Let's meet today's contestant.
Hi, and uh, who are you? I'm Brian Seeley. I'm the director of marketing for BSW. And what do you do? Oh, no, you're That's what I do. I, I direct the marketing. <laughs> that was like, I was just playing the uh, interviewer that doesn't listen to yeah. the person who's interviewed. <laughs> How long have you been here, Brian? S seven years. Yeah. Everyone has been here for such a long time. Well, it's, you that know. That bodes well for a company. They don't, uh, you know, they don't kick us out unless we, we really screw up. Like cursing on camera. There's time. Oh, yeah, speaking of, you know how this game works. Yes, I do. Because you invented it. Yes, but go, I didn't invent it. I, I ripped it off from somebody, which we will credit probably somewhere along here later. Yeah. But why don't you explain it for... All right, so yeah. here's what happens. Uh, we will read a tongue twister slowly, and then you will read it quickly three times. Okay. If you get through the tongue twister without saying something that uh, causes us to push the dump button, you get to pick from the warehouse mystery box of prizes. I can't wait. I know. I know it's in that box. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here is your tongue twister, Brian. All right. Sitting ships sit like sitting ships, sitting shifting ships, shift like shifting ships, shifting. Then ships that sit, sit like sitting ships, sitting. Brian, you ready? Nope. Okay. Here we go. Sitting ships sit like sitting ships sitting. Sifting ship <laughs> like. Oh, oh. Womp, womp, womp. Oh, there it is. Sorry. We had to hit the dump button. That's okay. That's okay. That was fun. Want to try it again? <laughs> sure. Really? Uh, oh, yeah, let's do it again. Okay. That, that was horrible. That okay. was a horrible All right. Uh, I got to make it through at least we once. We got to get rid of the crap that's in okay. that box. I know. Let's do it again. Okay, here we All go. Right, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> sitting ships sit like shifting ships sitting. Shifting ships shift like shifting ships shifting. Then ships that sit, sit like sitting. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> get get out of here. Go away. Go away. I fail. I fail. Good. Oh, loser. Well, there you have it, folks. Another failure and $300,000 in an FCC fine awaits that lucky contestant. Hey, thanks for playing BSW versus The Dump Button. Be sure to check back for more episodes and more sitting, slipping, shipping slits. <laughs> you see? <laughs> you didn't get me there, did you? Dump that, Mr. F engineer, you mother. F Hi, I'm Mike West for BSW. Today, we're going to take a listen to three of the most popular broadcast microphones for podcast. The Heil PR40, the Electrovoice RE320, and the MXL BCD-1. All three microphones have proved their worth in the podcast world, and today you will get to hear all three. There will be no EQ, no processing, and no compression for this test. Now, for our test content, let's read an excerpt from one of music's greatest artists and wordsmiths. Yep, Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars, the song Uptown Funk. First, the PR-40. Girls hit your hallelujah, ooh. Girls hit your hallelujah, ooh. Girls hit your hallelujah, ooh. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Saturday night, and we're in the spot. Don't believe me? Just watch. Vroom. Now, the RE320. Girls hit your hallelujah, ooh. Girls hit your hallelujah, ooh. Girls, hit your hallelujah, ooh. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Saturday night, and we're in the spot. Don't believe me? Just watch. Vroom. And now the MXL BCD1. Girls, hit your hallelujah, ooh. Girls, hit your hallelujah, ooh. Girls, hit your hallelujah, ooh. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Cause Uptown Funk gonna give it to ya. Saturday night and we're in the spot. Don't, Don't believe, believe me, just watch. Hi. Hi. Don't believe Hi. For more information on these three microphones, please visit bswusa.com. Or if my masterful performance wowed you, Sound off in the comments below. Or not. Thank you.
Turn out the lights Turn on the night And I can feel the heartbeat of the street And baby, it's alright I feel in the music Deep in my bones I can feel the moonshine I got a feeling someone taking me Oh, 
Well, via the uh, HDV mixer software, we are live at NAB 2019. You're watching BSW TV. My name is Mike West, and I'm joined by Ben Palmer, sales engineer for Araka Systems. Uh, you guys have been around for a long time. You were just telling me that you're, is this, is, can we mention that your dad started this uh, out of his garage? He did, yes. There's yeah. dad right there. Hey, Mike. Missouri. <laughs> he can't escape. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is our 39th NAB. This is a, a lot of NABs. Wow. Very exciting, we, we've, we've enjoyed them for many reasons. Yeah, yeah. And how long have you been working for, for dad? You know, that's the funny thing is I did work uh, in high school during the summers, yeah. which was a lot of fun. Um, worked in the wood shop, a little bit different. Uh, and uh, so I've been around for a long time and actually I've been to uh, the NAB convention quite a bit. I believe they actually have a photo of me. Uh, oh yeah? From when I was younger, in my teens. I was, I was a little bit more uh, angsty at the time. Nigel, can we uh, pop I got the, the photo up? I got the shaved head look going on. It's the 90s. And actually, the funny thing is that's the oh, only picture man. I could find where I was actually somewhat smiling in it. Look at you. The rest were all the 90s kind of grimace, you know, like Nirvana style, so. So that was 96? Yeah, that... yeah, 96. That's my brother Aaron in the back. He, he also works for the company. Wow, and then man. My, that's my mom right there as well. Hi, mom. So you, 1996, that, did you play Pokemon back then? Because that's when it came out. Did it really? Yeah, that's when it was introduced. I did not play Pokemon. Were you a baseball fan? Uh, Rockies, yeah. Okay, because the, the Yankees had won the series, game. I think, for the first time in decades. Yeah, that yeah. year. I'm, and not then, a, I'm not a Yankees fan. And then fan. you looked like you could do the Macarena. <laughs> I could. Because that was the year the Macarena got that, big popular. Were you the I Macarena knew. at the NAB? Actually, one time we were actually on a boat, and uh, I, they did convince me to do the Macarena. It was very embarrassing. <laughs> but you know, again, when you're a teenager, you kind of do those yeah. dumb things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have a really uh, cool product that's uh, in front of us. Do you yes. Wanna, you want to tell us about it? Yeah, this is our Arc 5 console. It's brand new, actually, of a, as of a couple weeks ago. A couple have already sold. We're selling them quite a bit, which is very exciting. Um, so kind of the store or background of it is we've had the Arc 8. It's our bigger brother of this guy since about 2009 and we've been selling dozens and hundreds and thousands of these and so they've been doing really well for us and so we're, but one of the, the funny things is the feedback that we get is I like something smaller and I'm like really okay so we've designed the arc 5 um, obviously with the 5 you get the five uh, different channels two of them being mic channels the third one is a line input which has both balanced and unbalanced inputs then the fourth channel is our phone, which connects to a phone hybrid for Mix Minus. And then the fifth channel is our USB channel, which allows you to do playback or record um, either with a PC, Windows PC or Mac, which is awesome. Uh, the other cool thing that we introduced actually at BSW's encouragement uh, is we introduced these dry contact uh, buttons here. We call them soft keys. And these will actually work with the HDV mixer. So we got these camera systems set up here where you can directly wire our logic output to their little hardware. And so this can actually switch different camera angles for you between camera one, two, three, and four. That's so, nice and techy and very simple at the same time. It is, yes. And very exciting because uh, we've gotten a lot of feedback and a lot of people asking for that. So we're excited to introduce that, that very feature. Very cool. All right, now let's see what else you're talking about here, the uh, Dark Surface 12. Yeah, so we've been doing Dante uh, AOIP stuff since 2014. We first introduced the simple IP boxes, which is basically analog or digital nodes. All of your audio goes into it, and then once it's on there, it's anywhere on your network. You can access it. And uh, using the Dante protocol, um, you can feed uh, different streams from one location to another. Like, let's say you have four studios. You wanted to feed this console to another. You can do that with that all without having to wire directly from one studio to the other. Um, so we started with Simple IP. The next logical step for us was to do a virtual software, which is the Dark Virtual, and we, we introduced that last year. And that guy allows you to, it's basically a virtual console, and allows you to be able to control any of those sources as far as mixing, volume control, all that good stuff. And we also introduced the Dark Surface 8, which is a physical interface, in order to control the, the dark virtual software. So it's done really well for us for this last year, and so it's like, okay, well the next logical progression is we need bigger, Dark Surface 12. So we got 12 channels, and we got a lot of feedback with that, and that's been selling really well for us. 
Um, the Dante uh, network is very, very uh, popular amongst uh, uh, professional radio from, uh, um, we, we, we've sold it from hospitals to stations to all over. You guys, are, you guys, as they say at BSW, you guys are kicking butt. We are, yes. <laughs> well, and that's why we've done this for 39 years at NEB. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. That's some longevity. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Although my legs aren't exactly... Uh, You're not like you were when you were that kid on the... No, <laughs> I'm guessing I had a little bit more stamina back then. <laughs> Tell me about it, man. Yeah. So, yeah, let me, let me ask about you personally. Uh, you have four kids? I do, yeah. We just had our fourth in October, which is... Yeah, this is why I'm barely... Functional. Are you getting more sleep? At NAB, <laughs> do you do at home? That's the funny thing is, sadly enough, last night some guy was pushing his grocery cart outside my bedroom window. At okay, I'll cop to it. It was me. I was hungry. Yeah. I, what What are you doing? I don't know. I can't <laughs> sleep. Yeah, it was horrible. Oh man. So really? sadly enough, I'm not getting more sleep now. My wife, though, she is definitely getting way less sleep. She is. Uh, it's not fun <laughs> to be by yourself with but that many kids. But yet again, it is very fun. It is, yes. <laughs> if the kids are watching, yeah. you are fun. You are kids. fun. Don't worry. We love you. Just please be nice. <laughs> and a scuba diver? I am, yeah. My dad just loves... You can loves really get away scuba diving. <laughs> at, in, yeah, we're based out of Colorado, which is really funny. Beautiful oceans there. Yeah, yeah. The, the lakes are... No. We just love the ocean, and, and I've been diving since I was 11. Uh, matter of fact, it got me through college. I was an instructor, and so that paid for all my college work. And uh, wow, love to dive. Oddly enough, uh, there's actually more per capita, and this was a fact at least a while ago. Uh, there's more scuba divers per capita in Colorado than anywhere else in the U.S. That is a fast, cool fact. And I don't ski either. No, <laughs> really. Oddly enough, yes, I'm not good at skiing. Wow. A well-rounded guy and an amazing family. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to see your dad standing here next to you. Except I'm substantially more handsome. <laughs> I told you, he's a very dapper dude. And I could say that since he doesn't have a mic. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, my dad's name was Ben, so. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. It's a good name. Ben Palmer, sales engineer for Araka Systems, and uh, thanks for introducing, uh, showing us your cool updated products. Uh, what's your booth number, by the way? Do you know it offhand? I do not. Okay, go we'll, to our we'll, we'll, we'll yeah, just go to bswusa.com or give us a call there at 1 800 426 8434 to uh, learn all about Araka Systems. Once again, Ben, thanks. Thank you. Good luck at the show. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. We'll be back live in about a half an hour. NAB 2019 BSW TV. Wash your hands in the water
Hi, Mike West here for BSW. You know, in broadcast, especially radio, there are the few and the proud that have withstood the ultimate test. The test of time. 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 Today, we'll be talking about Orban. More specifically, the Orban 5500i on-air broadcast processor. Jam-packed with features, this box is the ultimate choice for versatility, value, and of course that Optimod sound that has given Orban its legacy. legacy. Well, now, enough talking. Let's see what's doing on this thing. Uh, Mike, you're gonna have to keep talking. Oh, sorry, uh, the prompter said enough talking. <coughs> The Orban Optimod 5500i puts competitive 5 and 2 band Optimod processing into a single rack and brings it to you at the most affordable price ever. When you think Orban 5500i, think quality sound. Sound that attracts audiences by providing a polished, professional presentation, regardless of format and source material. The 5500i sports four unique processing structures, full-time LED meters, amazing peak control at all its outputs, DSP-based encoder, anti-alias clippers, built-in RDS RBDS generator, 16-second diversity delay, and analog and and AES outputs. Could there be more? There is more? Are you serious? Okay. World clock 10 megahertz sync reference input, up to 16 second diversity delay, silence alarm, included PC remote software, real time clock, simple management protocol, or SNMP. Still more? I thought voicing the Star Fox video game was hard. Standalone stereo encoder features, smooth crossfade, low pass filtering, left right domain overshoot limiter, dual mode composite limiter, ITU 412 multiplex power controller, flat or pre emphasized input signal options, J.17 de emphasis, RS 232 GPI, Ethernet remote control capabilities, and all normal inputs and outputs available. <sighs> all those features in this thing? <sighs> that was like a circus fire. Intense. Okay. Orban 5500i. You heard it all, folks. More features than you can shake a stick at at an incredible value. For more information and to pick up one of these sweet beauties, visit bswusa.com or give us a call. BSW, the largest distributor of Orban in the world. Thanks for watching. Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of BSW versus The Dump Button, where we pit real BSW employees against tongue twisters designed to get your station a big, fat FCC fine. So let's put that dump button to good use, shall we? Now, for radio, the dump button, or profanity delay, I'll tell you, it's really f bitch and fool. Oops, <laughs> dump button time. It's a life and money saver. Catching that four-letter word just in time is an art. Well, actually, it's kind of a skill. Now, today, since we have none, we're going to pit BSW against the dump button. Hi there, I'm your host, Mike West. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to BSW versus the dump button. Let's meet today's contestant. Well, hi there, and what's your name? I'm Tom Wolkvom. And what do you do here at BSW, I'm Tom? the chief operating officer. He's Ooh. a big shot. <laughs> How long have you worked here? 23 years. He's a long time for Big <laughs> yeah. Shot. All right, now, do you know how this game works? Why don't you explain it? Okay, we have a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. I will read it once slowly, and then you will read it back three times quickly. And if you win without us causing to, you know, hit the dump button, okay. you get to choose something from the warehouse box of prizes. All right. The mystery box of warehouse wow. prizes. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here's the tongue twister, slowly. The short, shy ship's coxswain sits, slits, and sips, schlitz, while he f his copper crocs. Ready? Ready. Here we go. The short, shy ship's coxswain slits, slips, and sips, slits, while flux his copper crocs. Again? All right. The short, shy ship's coxswain sits, slits, and sips, slits while he flux his copper crocs. One more time. The short, shy ship's coxswain sits, slips, and sips, slits while he flux his copper crocs. The big shot does it! Oh. Winner! Oh. Winner! Let's grab that. What do I get? Warehouse box of oh, mystery right. prizes. The mystery prizes. Well, what can I say?
I think I need a spring. It's a spring! <laughs> I've won! A spring! <laughs> Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thanks thank for playing. You. Oh, and thank thanks you. for not causing the dump button to get uh, Excellent. dumped. Excellent. Winner. Well, there you have it, folks. Another winner. And the warehouse box of mystery did not disappoint. Thanks for playing BSW versus the dump button. Be sure to check back for more episodes and, of course, more sitting, slipping, shipping slits. <laughs> Didn't get me, did you? Dump that, Mr. Engineer. You mo- Hi, I'm Mike West for BSW. Taking a look at the MXL BCD-1 dynamic microphone. This little guy not long ago would have been pigeonholed as only a lonely kick mic. But when BSW got their hands on it, it became a go-to microphone for voice, broadcast, and podcast. Let's give it a listen. The MXL BCD-1 is a dynamic cardioid pattern microphone with built-in swiveling shock mount producing warm, rich tones to get the most out of any voice and any budget. With its excellent side rejection, this microphone is ideal for podcast in noisy and un untre untreated acoustic environments. Wow. As quoted by a BCD-1 owning BSW customer, quote, this microphone is doing serious justice, end quote. For more information on the MXL BCD-1, visit bswusa.com. Please make it stop. <laughs> and the video. Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of BSW versus the Dump Button, where we pit real BSW employees against tongue twisters designed to get your station a big, fat FCC fine. So let's put that Dump Button to good use, shall we? Now, for radio, the Dump Button, or profanity delay, is a life and money saver. Catching that four-letter word just in time is an art. Well, actually, it's kind of a skill. Now, today, since we have none, we're going to pit BSW against the Dump Button. Hi there, I'm your host, Mike West. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And welcome to BSW versus the Dump Button. Let's meet today's contestant. Well, hi. And who are you? Hi. Kathy. Kathy Thatcher. And how long have you worked at BSW? For 40 years. This is amazing. 30, 40, 15, 20. That just yeah. does not happen in it's a company. It's great. Yeah, it's really great. Well, what great have you been company. doing here for 40 years? I am now VP of Operations started in the cartridge department back when we had a winding winding room. wow yeah yeah long time many changes those were the days yeah. and now it's come to this <laughs> we have a tongue twister okay all right so i will read it once slowly and then you will read it three times quickly and if you win if you get through it all without us having to hit the dump button you get to choose something from the mystery box of warehouse prizes thing okay okay you ready okay well let's see if i'm ready City Sharks have ships. This City Shark ship has a sits show. So the City Sharks sit in the ship's sit show. That's a toughie. That's great. Good luck. Here we go. City Sharks have ships. This City Shark ship has a sit show. So the City Sharks sit in the ship's sit show. City Sharks have ships. This City Shark sip. Oops. <laughs> has a sit. <laughs> City oh. Sharks have ships. This City Sharks oh, ship no. has a sit show. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> okay, that was fun. <laughs> you said the S, S word. word. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is harder than. I mean, I was. Tell me about along it. Along with him. <laughs> if I screw up, we start the thing over again. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. <sighs> That's okay. I'm good. <laughs> and thanks for 40 years of service. Thank you. At BSW. Oh. Loser. Well, there you have it, folks. Another failure and $300,000 in an FCC fine awaits that lucky contestant. Hey, thanks for playing BSW versus the dump button.
Mike West here for BSW. Boy, do we have a cool little box for you today. Here's the box. The Innovotics Novia Audio Processor. Innovotics brings this half-rack audio processor to the industry with the same quality, ease of use, and reliability synonymous with Innovotics products. Little box. The Innovotics Novia Audio Processor comes in three flavors, AM, FM, and dual mode FM and stereo audio. With particular attention on ease of use and installation, the Novia incorporates an intuitive multi-language menu-driven setup as well as an IP browser interface, compatible with any PC or mobile device. Multiple factory and user-defined processing presets streamline the setup process. IP connectivity also provides local and email failure alarms, plus support for SNMP operation. Novia also boasts gated and windowed gain writing AGC, unique adjustable syllabic leveling, three bands of dynamic compression with selectable crossovers, Four sections of parametric EQ plus an effective bass punch feature. <coughs> Independent density and smooth loud adjustments. If you need big, big, big processing at a small, small, small price, the Innovonics Novia Audio Processor is the way to go. If you're going to break the bank, may I recommend the bed piano, amphibious bicycle, or an extension on that RV? Give BSW a call today. BSW is your Innovonics connection. Thanks for watching. Now, let's play! We choose money! Welcome everyone, I'm your host Mike West. I'm sure you've all played before, but for the folks at home who haven't, here's how it works. Seven questions in 60 seconds, ranging from pop, culture, radio, trivia, golf, the Beatles, and complete non-sensory. You can pass all you like and are allowed to come back at the end to any unanswered questions. Whoever has the most questions correct in 60 seconds wins a crisp $1 bill from Tim's Wallet. Okay, let's meet today's contestant. Hi, oh, I'm Tom Wolkfoms. Tom, pleased to meet you. Oh, good to meet you too. So, uh, we have questions about radio, the Beatles, golf questions, all kinds of stuff that you mm -hmm. probably know because you're very smart. Thank you. Uh, if you win, you are going to play for this Tim's dollar. Wow. Are you ready? I'm Let's do it. All right, so seven questions, 60 mm -hmm. seconds. You can pass all you like and return uh, to answer any of the unanswered questions, okay? All right, I think Let's I said that started. right. All right, here we go. Let's start the clock. The portion of the FM dial between 88 and 92 megahertz is usually reserved for what type of station? Non-commercial or educational. What course was the 18-hole round of golf created? Alan Moore. How many grams are there in a kilogram? 1,000. Which planet has the highest mountain in the solar system? Jupiter. What is the maximum broadcasting power allowed for a U.S. radio station? 100,000 watts. Which jazz musician was known for playing a bent trumpet? Oh, Dizzy Gillespie. Who arranged the Beatles' first audition at Decca Records? Their mothers? Tom, you got four out of seven questions correct in 39 seconds. That is a new world's record because, well, this is the first time we've actually <laughs> played. So let's bring Tim in now to win Tim's dollar. All right, Tim, you're competing against Tom. We're not gonna tell you how well he did. Are you ready? Seven questions, 60 seconds. Here we go. Question one. The portion of the FM dial between 88 and 92 megahertz is usually reserved for what type of station? Educational. What course was the 18-hole round of golf created? Um, St. Andrews. How many grams are there in a kilogram? One million. Which planet has the highest mountain in the solar system? Uh, 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 mm, Venus. What is the maximum broadcasting power allowed for a U.S. radio station? I already used one million at one other point, right? So... I'm going to say it's 100,000 watts FM. Which jazz musician was known for playing a bent trumpet? Um, Hurry, Tim. Time's running out. Dizzy Gillespie. Who arranged the Beatles' first audition at Decca Records? 
Um, ooh, okay, so this is a trick question Fine. here. Oh, time's up. How much is it gonna cost me to just ha win this thing? One million dollars. I should have, should have paid more attention. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we have to follow the rules of the game. Well, FCC regulations. FCC. Well, fortunately, we have a little thing called payroll deductions. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, let's uh, get to the results, shall we? Okay. Out of the seven questions, you both answered four correctly. However, yes. however, Tim, you you spent way too much time. Tom answered all the questions within forty-seven seconds. So Tom wins Tim's dollar. Yes. yes. Curses. What's that? Well, that. No, I kind of travel with this. I'm pretty proud of it. It's my, it's my great boss trophy. It's world-class car washer and great boss from the BSW team in 1999. Boy, I'm sure that makes the company proud. Check that out. Yep, that's pretty good. I thought we would put it like right here during the competition. Yeah, but I think the lights might reflect off of the yeah. pickup truck. Yeah, good point. Well, there you have it, folks. You win some, you dim some. Am I right, Tim? 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 Yeah, must be going to the bank with all that cash. One million dollars. Join us again next time for BSW's Win Tim's Money. Bye-bye, everybody. Turn out the lights and turn on the night And I can feel the heartbeat of the street And baby, it's alright A feeling the music Deep in my bones I can feel the moonshine I got a feeling someone taking Jumping out of control I'm just a freak in the city Yeah.
Nigel said, we're on. We're on, live from NAB 2019. My name is Mike West for BSW TV, brought to you in part by, well, the stuff that's uh, allowing us to broadcast live. Have you checked the software out yet? Oh, it looks very nice. It I'm is impressed. Cool. HDV mixer, video for radio, simply switching for easy monetization. Don't be the last to find out. Orban Labs, Inc., processing for the new age and some of the old, too stay above the competition. And Wheatstone Corporation, consoles processing, you name it, Wheatstone does it better and better. And so does Enco and Matt Walder, product manager. Uh, you've been uh, doing this for a long time, a 30-year industry vet, 15 years with Enco. Yep. And I'm just reading, we could talk about you forever here because, <laughs> man, you are- uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of you things. You are quite accomplished, my friend. Yeah, we're, uh, you know, it's had a lot of fun. We like being involved with the radio industry and to uh, to get out, not only to meet the all of our colleagues and all of our friends and partners out here at shows like this, but to actually spend time in your own facility, talk about your goals, figure out good workflows of how we can best suit our tools for, for your needs. That's what we're really about. Can we start from the grassroots here for people who don't know what ENCO is or does? Can you uh, ENCO uh, is a company that's been around since uh, the early 90s and we've started off doing radio automation um, through a couple of our founders, Eugene Novacek, Dave Turner. Uh, Dave came out of the TV world and uh, needed really a product to replace some old carts. Uh, talked to his friend Gene, they started to develop the software which became Dad Pro. Originally it was a DOS product. Over the years it has grown incredibly. Uh, we've expanded not only from radio automation, but we've expanded into the TV realm. We have a mom product, so we have a dad. We have, of course, we have to have a mom product as well. Um, mom is our clip shot that does automatic video playouts. You can do a lot of bugs, a lot of overlays all throughout that. We worked, uh, we're showing for the past couple of years, which we've had a lot of foot traffic, has been our encaption product. So we've migrated uh, not only from audio and from radio and from the television uh, play and store, and play out, but also into closed captioning. And we're showing uh, in Caption 4, it's on the main stage, it's in a lot of other vendor booths that are around here, but uh, we do live automatic closed captioning. And one of the new things that we're showing is that we'll take those live captions and we'll send them out to a service and we'll receive that back as a translated language. So you can be doing English closed captions on say CC1 and maybe you are doing a Spanish language closed captions on CC2. Uh, and all of this is real time and automated and it's a very exciting product and a lot of people are quite interested. That's amazing, I have no idea how you would do that, but if it works, it works. But, uh, even with uh, the show here and everything that's going on, uh, it's been a pretty good success, pretty exciting. Very cool. Why mom, why dad, why do you, wh wh where did the well, names was, come from? It was from? digital audio delivery is what uh, okay. DAD came from and uh, after the years, you know, we always joked around that we should probably have a mom product. And, Eventually we came up. And if something doesn't work, it's like the drunk uncle product. There you go, absolutely. So we have some of those in the back shelf, but we don't try to get those out too much. <laughs> so specifically, uh, would you like to talk about uh, so, these products and what they do? Sure, exactly? so one of the things that we're certainly showing out here and we uh, have a lot of excitement, we did a little bit of this at one of the other trade shows back uh, in the fall, is uh, our WebDAB product. And so we took a look at our DAD uh, software. We've been using Presenter as our main interface for quite some time, and we ended up uh, uh, through a lot of the requests from our client base, ended up developing Presenter within our WebDAD product. So what WebDAD is, is it's a uh, interface to the DAD application that you can pull up anywhere from a web browser. Oh, we're so looking at posting a, a we're web at a photo yeah. right now. On and uh, so that's Presenter is the main interface from the DAD application, and then we have is a WebDAD which will replicate almost all of those basic functionalities, and that's a view of what WebDAD is. And so you have controls to load up your playlist, to modify, swap slots, swap the cuts that are in there, add in new cuts, you can use the array buttons to play. So in, in purposeful applications, you might have uh, your talent out at maybe as a local high school football game or somewhere else where you don't necessarily have to have somebody in the studio, as long as they can get an internet connection, they can load this up and be able to control directly the content that's going on back at the studio without having to tunnel through a VPN or using other services that might be spotty or dropout connections. And it also lets talent think about 
what they're doing, well, <laughs> rather it, than having to mess with sure, stuff. Sure, and absolutely, and, and the nice thing about uh, some of this is, you know, you might have people who are sick, you might have some people who need to stay at home for whatever reason, um, and so we've got voice track capabilities that you can do it directly through the browser, um, and that way you can, you can preview your outro cut, you can preview your intro cut, you can set fades all graphically through the interface. Um, so you can do voice tracking and save that up. We've also expanded out the library to where you can play and see the waveform directly from the library. So if you've got people who are out in the field who would like to preview or review cuts, they have that ability to be able to do that now. That's great. Uh, Enco Dad? Yep. And then Web Dad? Web Dad. What else are you guys working on? Can you divulge any secret information for 2020? So, we're, we're certainly looking uh, more towards the cloud type based applications. And so, WebDAD is, is certainly one of our aspects into getting that. We are looking at in the future of how we can truly put that uniquely out in the cloud. Obviously, there's a, a few little hurdles, such as how do you get audio in and out. You know, we're, we're looking at how we can accomplish those possibly through streams, RTP streams. It's not uncommon to be able to do that. There's lots of vendors that provide a variety of different codecs, but we're looking to get something built in with our, in our own application. So that way, for an Enco customer, they might be able to have a dad out in the cloud and they could use our gateway product to push all of the content up to that cloud, and then if there becomes some sort of power issue or a loss of communications at the main site, they can have that remote dad transmit directly the audio to your transmitter site or to any other location. So that's one of the kind of, of applications that we're seeing kind of in the future. And we're also taking that same approach with our Encaption product to where we have right now running in an AWS, our Encaption service, and then we have our uh, engine, our speech to text engine in another cloud. So they are communicating from cloud to cloud. We are pulling in a web stream from a, a broadcaster and doing automatic captions from that and then those captions are being returned back to that broadcaster. So they are having captions on their web stream through their player, through their CDN provider. Amazing stuff. Can we talk about you for just a moment? Okay. Because we were <laughs> hanging out before we went live here at uh, the NAB. You're a musician. Not a well, musician. Well, I mean, you're, I, let, let me just, yeah, you're not a musician, but you collect musical yeah, I, <laughs> memorabilia. Yeah, we, we collect, uh, uh, I grew up in radio, and rock radio from the 80s all the way through. It was a very, very interesting time. It's all the time before CDs, you know, we had to go pull our carts and pull our records. And you know, <laughs> yeah. the industry was very, very different back then, but you know, we fell in love with the rock and roll music, we fell in love with, uh, you know, broadcasting what was out there, and we started to get a lot of collection of a variety of items, and so. You married someone in radio yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely, and so, you know, over the time, uh, we started to collect a lot of rock and roll memorabilia. I was just showing you a picture of our latest acquisition. Yeah, can you, got a, can you uh, pop that up on your phone? A, uh, a drum just head it. Uh, from uh, Ringo Starr. Let me see if I can call that. You know that Tim Swagger plays uh, a Ringo kit. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, there we go. So I don't know if he can, uh, you can just barely see there it. There it is, there. oh yeah. Yep. My God, that's that's It's a amazing. drum head from Ringo Starr, signed by Ringo Starr that we just picked up and just got it framed. That's why I was taking a picture of it. Fantastic. So that's, uh, you know, something that we like to hang on the wall. But, you know, it's, it's, it's nice because it looks cool. It's nice artwork and we appreciate it. And, you know, we like that rock and roll lifestyle. What, yeah. I, what I find fascinating is people that I get to talk to, like you, who came from a radio background before all the stuff you just told yeah. us about that's kind of over this dude's head. You understand how it's supposed to work and how, if it doesn't work for a, a disc jockey, right. I mean, it can be the coolest software in the world, but if, it, if it's if not... It, if it doesn't, it's not functional, yeah. if it doesn't have a nice user design, um, if it's not laid out well and it's not intuitive, people say, well, maybe not. Yeah. So we, we try to really get that feedback from our customer base. We try to really put a value on that because they're going to be the end users. And so we like to make sure that we're listening to them and you know, they, a lot of that comes back through me. I take my own personal experience and then we try and work that into the software. So that way it's, it's as the best experience for, for anyone who's using it. Well, you've been in the trenches. You know how stuff's supposed to work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Matt Walder, product manager for an incredible company, Enco. You can find their uh, products at bswusa.com. Go to 1-800. 426-8434 and visit their booth here at NAB. Thanks a lot. Thank you so very Fascinating much. Fascinating to talk to you and congratulations on Ringo. We'll be back with the people of Crown in just a few minutes. Mike West, NAB 2019, BSW TV.
BSW Broadcast Supply Worldwide Bringing to the masses since 1974 Broadcast gear from people you trust Now BSW Bringing you voiceover gear From people you trust Does this look like a face you can trust? Good, we didn't think so either That was a test But when it comes to voiceover Here's a face you can trust Joe Cipriano. Heard of him? Oh, yes, you have. For decades. And you may have never even realized it. Next time. Anybody here a doctor? House is in the house. What's the buzz on TV's number one show? Gordon Ramsay and the producers of The Biggest Loser present Master Chef. The Simpsons. New Mike and Molly. Animation Domination presents a quadruple feature <laughs> on Fox. Voiceover industry legend Joe Cipriano and BSW have joined forces to bring you the very best tools for your trade. Looking at getting into voiceover? Already in the industry and want to up your game? BSW can help. But don't take my word for it. Well, I think this is a great opportunity to help voiceover talent at every level achieve the best audio quality in their home studios. And you know, from, from being in the voiceover business for a number of years, I know finding a trusted source of information and equipment really is essential. BSW has been a great resource for me over the years. I always go to them when I need to get new equipment. I love the people that I work with there. And you know, in voiceover, having the right tools is as important as, you know, taking the workshops, working with coaches, continuing your education having a good sounding studio set up in your home or if you have one at work as well is so important for recording auditions and getting the best quality and then when those auditions turn into work well you need a pro sound that is at the utmost in quality so teaming up with bsw i hand-picked microphones interfaces even headphones and other equipment that can give you that quality sound for entry level, for example, I want to get you started off on the right foot with our entry level starter pack. Or if you currently have a setup, we can improve the setup with our pro pack or something that BSW is calling the Joe pack equipment that I use. I've also put together two travel packs 
the budget travel pack and my very own setup, all the equipment that I use uh, when I go out on the road. I've used each and every piece of the equipment in all of these packages. So take a look at what I've chosen. And if you have any questions, feel free to call the folks at BSW. They're around to help. Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of BSW versus The Dump Button, where we pit real BSW employees against tongue twisters designed to get your station a big, fat FCC fine. So let's put that dump button to good use, shall we? Now, for radio, the dump button, or profanity delay, I'll tell you, it's really bitch and fool. Oops, <laughs> dump button time. It's a life and money saver. Catching that four-letter word just in time is an art. Well, actually, it's kind of a skill. Now, today, since we have none, we're going to pit BSW against the dump button. Hi there, I'm your host, Mike West. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to BSW versus the dump button. Let's meet today's contestant. Well, hi there, and what's your name? I'm Tom Wolkfam. And what do you do here at BSW, Tom? I'm the Chief Operating Officer. He's Ooh. a big shot. <laughs> How long have you worked here? 23 years. He's a long-timer big <laughs> shot. All right, now, do you know how this game works? Why don't you explain it? Okay, we have a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. Very difficult. I will read it once slowly, and then you will read it back three times quickly. And if you win without us causing to, you know, hit the dump button, okay. you get to choose something from the warehouse box of prizes. All right. The mystery box of warehouse wow. prizes. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here's the tongue twister slowly. The short, shy ship's coxswain sits slits and sips schlitz while he his copper crocs ready ready here we go the short shy ships coxswain slits slips and sips slits while flux his copper crocs again all right the short shy ships coxswain sits slits and sips slits while he flux his copper crocs one more time the short, shy ships, coxswain sits, slips and sips, slits while he flucks his copper crocs. The big shot does it! Oh. Winner, winner! Let's grab that. What do I get? Warehouse box of oh, mystery right. prizes. The mystery prizes. Well, what can I say? I think I need a spring. It's a spring! spring. I've won! A spring! spring. <laughs> Congratulations. Well, thank you. Thanks thank for playing. You. Oh, thank and thanks you. for not causing the dump button to get uh, Excellent. Dumped. Winner! Well, there you have it, folks. Another winner, and the warehouse box of mystery did not disappoint. Thanks for playing BSW versus the dump button. Be sure to check back for more episodes and, of course, more sitting, slipping, shipping slits. <laughs> Didn't get me, did ya? Dump that, Mr. Engineer, you mo- Hi there, Mike West here for BSW. For years, radio has trusted the 8500 Optimod to build audiences and ratings with its big, bold sound. Orban has resurrected the proven 8500 sound into a 1RU package just for you. Behold, the Orban 5700i broadcast processor. The 5700 provides stereo enhancement, equalization, AGC, multiband compression, low IM peak limiting, stereo encoding, and composite limiting. Everything that you need to compete in your market. Why the Orban 5700i? Well, our friend Phil McCavity has the scoop. Phil? Yo. Thanks, Mike. You're looking well. I told you, push-ups and apples and triscuits. How do you think I look so amazing? Wait, don't answer that. We're here for something much more important. The Orban 5700 I, 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 I. is chocked full of features. 
making this the go-to box for processing on a budget. Featuring two optimized processing chains, FM analog and HD digital splitting after the AGC, three processing structures, loudness, meter and safety limiter, multiplex power limiter, LCD and full-time LED meters, peak control and stereo encoder, true peak control, two outputs with independent level controls, anti-alias clippers, analog and AES digital inputs and outputs, ratings and coder loop built-in RDS, RBDS generator, world clock 10 megahertz sync reference input, diversity delay, real-time clock, SNMP, and much more. Did you get that? All those features? If you didn't, call BSW. They have Orban on the shelf, or shelves. They probably have more than one shelf in that warehouse of theirs. I wonder how many shelves it would take to hold every Orban thingy-majiggy ever made. You know, Ikea makes nice shelves. I enjoy Scandinavian furniture, and the meatballs in the cafeteria are deep. I think what Phil is trying to say is, BSW has Orban on the shelf, ready to ship. Thank you, Phil. I'll take it from here. Yo. <laughs> that guy, what a character, huh? Uh, BSW is your Orban connection. For more information on the 5700, call us or visit bswusa.com. Thanks for watching. Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of BSW versus the Dump Button, where we pit real BSW employees against tongue twisters designed to get your station a big, fat FCC fine. So let's put that Dump Button to good use, shall we? Now, for radio, the Dump Button, or profanity delay, is a life and money saver. Catching that four-letter word just in time is an art. Well, actually, it's kind of a skill. Now, today, since we have none, we're going to pit BSW against the Dump Button. Hi there, I'm your host, Mike West. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to BSW versus the Dump Button. Let's meet today's contestant. Well, hi, and who are you? Hi, Kathy, Kathy Thatcher. And how long have you worked at BSW? For 40 years. This is amazing, 30, 40, 15, 20. That just yeah. does not happen in it's a company. It's great, yeah, it's really great. What great have you been company. doing here for 40 years? I am now VP of Operations. Started in the cartridge department back when we had a winding, winding room. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Long time. Many changes. Those were the days. Yeah. And now it's come to this. <laughs> we have a tongue twister. Okay. All right. So I will read it once slowly, and then you will read it three times quickly. And if you win, if you get through it all without us having to hit the dump button, you get to choose something from the mystery box of warehouse prizes thing. Okay. Okay. You ready? Okay. Well, let's see if I'm ready. City Sharks have ships. This City Shark ship has a sits show. So the City Sharks sit in the ship's sit show. That's a toughie. That's great. Good luck. Here we go. City Sharks have ships. This City Shark ship has a sit show. So the City Sharks sit in the ship's sit show. City Sharks have ships. This City Shark sip. Oops. <laughs> has a sit. <laughs> City sharks have ships. This city shark oh, ship no. has a sit show. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> okay, that was fun. <laughs> you said the S, S word. S word. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is harder than. I mean, I was. Tell me about along it. Along with him. <laughs> if I screw up, we start the thing over again. Yeah. <laughs> nice try. <sighs> That's okay. I'm good. <laughs> and thanks for 40 years of service. Thank you. At BSW. Oh, loser. Well, there you have it, folks. Another failure and $300,000 in an FCC fine awaits that lucky contestant. Hey, thanks for playing BSW versus the dump button.
introduced him to a gun Saying, Georgia, wash your hands in the water Georgia, wash your hands in the water We are live from NAB 2019, BSW-TV. You can 
Find BSW products at bswusa.com. Well, they're really not our products. They're products like Crown Broadcast. And uh, Crown Broadcast is actually sharing a, a booth with us this year. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I almost said your name wrong because it's spelled in a goofy way. Your, your name is Burl Loomis. Correct. I, I almost called you Beryl. That would have That's been bad. That's a common bad. mistake, though. <laughs> yes, but not on live <laughs> TV. <laughs> so welcome, and uh, like I told you a couple of days ago when we met when we were all setting up, products like uh, OC White Booms and Crown. If you were a, if you were a jock, and you were doing it way back when, I you know you'd sit at the mic, look down at all the equipment below you, yes. and that's what you'd see is is a Crown amp. So it was, it's like it's like old home week. That sounds good. Yeah, very <laughs> cool. And you said your grandfather is yes. the guy that started. Crown Clarence Audio. Moore started Crown Audio, 1947. Do you still ha do you still have like the original amp from way back when? Um, he started making uh, tape recorders. And oh, we have so some that's really how it started. Old tape recorders, yes. That wow. We still keep. Giant reel to reel. Yes, decks. giant reel to reels. Man, I would love to get my hands on one of those. That's very cool. But you're here talking about, you know, the big stuff, the <laughs> transmitters and things. So what have you uh, brought here to NAB 2019? Um, well, what we are basically talking about is some of the tools that we have for the RF industry, which is our RFBA, our RFBA Plus, and we are coming out with a product called the Companion, which... We all need a Companion. Yes. It's supposed to help so that you can actually see your transmitter, or see what it's doing online. If it goes silent, it'll send you an alarm and say, you're in trouble. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> good product. Yeah. <laughs> so now, you are the president of the company. Correct. Your father ran the company prior to you. That's correct. Uh, what's... He turned, he turned 81 and decided he needed to retire. Yeah. So, so what's it like being the, the president? A little nerve-wracking. Yeah. How long have you been doing this as that, as the um, presidential head of the company? Not even a year yet. Yeah. About nine months. So. You do it okay. <laughs> so trying to get a handle on it. Yeah. So, like you said, the company's been around for a long time. What do you think sets you apart from from your competition? Um, I think if you'd ask any of our customers, they would pretty much say that it is our quality. Um, we have the best um, warranty in the business. It's five years, and then they still keep going. So. Spoken like a two pr true president. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Burl Loomis, thank you again for sharing uh, the booth with us here at uh, NAB 2019. What is our booth number? I should have known that. That's the booth. What's again? C1330. C1330, we should know that. Yes, we should. Because <laughs> if not, we'll, uh, we'll get lost when we go on a lunch break. Uh, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. Crown Broadcast, much. Burl Loomis, the president. So we are brought to you in part this morning by OC White, as we just mentioned, low profile, high profile, and any profile boom arms and stands that you've counted on for 100 years. See, just like you. Oh, yeah. Sure, legendary microphones, legacy performance. What other mic can hammer a nail? Again, just like you, they've been around a while. And yeah, Sennheiser, quality audio, their main priority when quality matters, choose Sennheiser. Another crazy product uh, that's been around for 50 years is Heil Sound, and they'll join us here in about a half an hour at BSW TV, live from NAB 2019. My name is Mike West. Thanks for joining us and thank you. Thank you. Madam President.
Hi, Mike West here. Hey, gang. Pop quiz, hotshot. What's this? Now, I heard some of you, but not all of you. Ah, I heard one right answer. You. Me, me. Right there in the front. <laughs> Hi there. Hi. Yeah. Uh, a flagship. Yes. Now, what's this? Weird. The Orban 8700 I. The flagship of the Orban fleet. <laughs> Let's check out this vessel. Who are you? I. The Orban 8700i brings a number of features to bear. Exponential loudness brings hyper-compressed music back to life, revealing detail and increased impact while reducing listening fatigue and distortion. Built-in streaming server allows you to monitor the 8700i processed FM and HD audio wherever there is a LAN or internet connection using free Opus and MP3 codecs. Exclusive multipath mitigator phase corrector reduces multipath distortion without compromising stereo separation. Dante Dual Redundant Audio over IP now with AES67 support via an easy software upgrade. Subharmonic Synthesizer adds modern sounding bass punch to older recordings. Dual Redundant Power Supplies and Safety Bypass Relays ensure 24-7 operation with no dead air. <laughs> that was close. Wow, what a flagship, huh folks? For more information, visit bswusa.com. Looking to demo the 8700i? Call BSW today. We can have the 8700i on your airwaves in a fortnight or overnight if you want. Live at NAB 2019 with uh, the big cheese, the, the big, big kahuna, cheese. the president. What no, do you like to call you? What that. do you like to call yourself? Well, the That's a chief, loaded question. The chief cook and bottle washer. Definitely the yeah. bottle washer. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's, yeah, yeah. So, how, are, how are you holding up? Oh, this is cool. I mean, it's a whole new experience for me. This You've is been like doing you're this. a trade show. This is like you're, you're a newbie. Yeah. I work in the Chevy booth at the uh, Geneva Auto Show next week. So. Oh, no, that's gotcha. You're taking it out on the road. This is kind of what I do now, Tim. Gotcha. You're taking it out on the road. You never thought that your radio career would get you <laughs> to something like this that we're doing video for radio. Yeah, I know, that's weird. I always used to say that, you know, people say, yeah, radio, why is that? And I go, I have a face for radio. That's why I'm in it. And then look what happens. We didn't have you to know. shave for four days. <laughs> I know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all these things, like you have to get a t-shirt without a stain on it. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's difficult to do. So how are you holding up? How, how holding is the reception up great. here it's for been a, It's been a wonderful BSW. show so far. Yeah. Uh, wonderful, you know, every year we love connecting with our customers uh, that, that make the pilgrimage out to Las Vegas every year. I know it's a, it's a burden, uh, especially for a lot of radio station engineers who have a lot on their plates, you know, that they have to take time out, but they, they come here to be educated, to go to sessions, and uh, most importantly, come into the exhibit hall and see all the new equipment that is being introduced. Uh, at the um, at the show, this is the this is the the big one where all the new stuff starts coming out. And it's important for engineers to stay current with all the gear, and uh, quite frankly, for us too, uh, in in, in uh, selling equipment and advising our customers, what's really important for them, um, we have to get our chops up too and be able to to see all the gear as well. So, well, it's yeah. quite an education for people like me and. Uh for all the people walking around this incredible hall, over 100,000 people here for the next few days. I know, days. I know. It's and trying to learn all their names has been difficult for me. <laughs> I, you know, I always, I always depend on these badges and someone will introduce themselves to me and you know, your eye always moves, you know, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, oh, hello, mom. Yeah. I didn't recognize you there. You I didn't think have people a badge. get it. They understand. Yeah, but yeah, you, uh, you only know, when meet you're, like a thousand people a day. When you're looking at your own badge, though, <laughs> yes. it's, it's, how good of a show has it been? It's been so good. I have to look at my name badge to tell me. <laughs> hey, well, thank you, Tim. S. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, boss. Yeah, boss. Yeah, for right. uh, coming on camera. We here. love it. Our crew's doing great. We're really enjoying this HDV mixer system and all the. We're so grateful for the manufacturers coming in and and giving us their time and telling us about their company and um, this, the whole thing is just remarkable. We're digging it. Yes. So if you're not doing anything today, head on out to Las Vegas. <laughs> just, just, I mean, flights Get are cheap. Get your flight cheap. now. Flights are cheap. You come on out, we'll be here. 
uh, tip your waiter, <laughs> try the veal. You need lunch. We're yeah. going to break for lunch. Don't go change it. We'll come back uh, in about an hour with the uh, great people from Heil. They've been around for 50 Yay, years. Yay, Heil. We uh, so, love them. Uh, Tim and I will go to lunch and we'll be back. Mm, lunch. BSW TV, NAB 2019. See you in a few. Hi, Nick here from Gates Air for BSW. Today, boys and girls, let's get serious. No kidding aside, STLs, heard of it? Mm -hmm. Of course you have. Years ago, you, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, posed a challenge to us at Gates Air. Create an STL for the most demanding 950 megahertz applications. Make it ready out of the box for AM, FM, and all HD radio applications, including the ability to transport over IP in an emergency. Oh, let's not forget about that pesky E2X, IPX, DSL data thing. We've got that covered also. Drum roll, please. The Intraplex HD Link. Let me get my fingers. This thing. The Intraplex HD Link. Wow! Designed with you in mind, the Intraplex HD Link features robust, rock-solid operation that you can count on for years to come. Right, BSW? Yeah. Overwhelming, right? Well, if you guys are ready... Ready! ready here. Yep, all ready! Let's go over the features that make HD-Link the solution to your STL problem. For that, we're going to go back to Mike West at BSW. Take it away, Mikey. Well, thank you, Nick. This beautiful unit includes an intuitive front panel user interface, advanced web browser interface, and SMMP remote management, one or two stereo program channels, individually configured for linear or enhanced Apex audio, two mono 7 kilohertz audio channels for SCA, EAS, or other auxiliary audio applications, one, three, or five watts of RF power in 200, 300, or 500 kilohertz RF channels. Channels, two integrated Ethernet ports for control, monitoring, backup streaming, and HD radio E2X data transport, USB port for saving configurations and updating firmware, user configurable control input and alarm output contacts and analog metering outputs, all in just two rack units of physical space. The Gates Air Intraplex HD Link STL. So many features, so little time. For more info on HD Link and other Gates Air products, be sure to contact BSW. You can do that by email, phone, pager, maybe, Morse code, Zeppelin, pigeon carrier, or smoke signal. That, that would work. They're here to help. Gates Air, out. Very slow. Now, let's play Twitch Welcome everyone, I'm your host Mike West. I'm sure you've all played before, but for the folks at home who haven't, here's how it works. Seven questions in 60 seconds, ranging from pop, culture, radio, trivia, golf, the Beatles, and complete non-sensory. You can pass all you like and are allowed to come back at the end to any unanswered questions. Whoever has the most questions correct in 60 seconds wins a crisp $1 bill from Tim's Wallet. Okay, let's meet today's contestant. Well, hello, and who are you? Uh, Nigel from Marketing again. Welcome back, Nigel. Thank you. Seven questions, 60 seconds. You can pass all you like. Return to any unanswered questions before the 60 seconds is up. Are you ready for the questions, Nigel? I'm ready as all of you. Here we go. Let's start the clock now for Win Tim's Money. Question. What does the AM in AM radio represent? Uh, pass. Which pop album is the best-selling of all time? Thriller. What was the name of the airplane Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens died in? Uh, pass. What character played by Jim Carrey jo uh, coined the catchphrase, All righty then. Ace Ventura. What herb is the main ingredients of pesto sauce? 
uh, ooh, uh, 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 cilantro, pass. What two colors combine t to uh, make purple? Uh, black and, uh, no, purple, or uh, red and blue? Which microphone pattern is the smallest? Cardioid. Ah. Now, let's see how Tim does. Tim, let's see how well you do against Nigel. Let's start the clock at 60 seconds now. What does the AM and AM radio represent? Amplitude modulation. Which pop album is the best selling of all time? Uh, yeah. Peter Frampton. Uh... What was the name of the airplane Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens died in? Bummer. A uh, prop plane. What character played by Jim Carrey coined the catchphrase, All righty then. Uh, pet detective, Ace Ventura. What herb is the main ingredient of pesto sauce? Pesticides. What two colors combine to make purple? I would say uh, red and brown. Which microphone pattern is the smallest? Uh, super duper cardioid. All right, now let's compare. Nigel answered three questions correctly in 50 seconds. Tim answered three questions correctly in 54 seconds, which means Go team Nigel Tim. wins Tim's money. What? I thought it was for more, more time, not less time. Oh. Oh. You want to know what you got wrong? Okay. All right. Uh, what does AM stand for in AM radio? Amplitude modulation. Which pop album that. is the best selling of all time? Michael Jackson. Thriller. Thriller. The name of the airplane, Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens died in? The American Pie. Really? Bye bye. Hey, that, I just I learned something I there. Too. What yeah. character played by Jim Carrey coined the catchphrase already? Then you both got that correct. Ace Venture, a pet detective. What herb is the main ingredient of pesto sauce? Basil. <sighs> Basil. I said cilantro. What two colors combine to uh, make purple? Red and blue. A lot of people wouldn't know that. And so, which... so I have a question. Yes? Am I paying you people for this? Uh, a dollar. Okay. okay. Just wanted to pay. Okay. That's all I want to know. Okay. Should have covered that yeah. in the meeting. Yeah. 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 Uh, you did mornings, right? Oh, yeah. Morning drive? Um, Years? Morning guy. Yeah. Well, then you'll probably want a little bit of this before we get started. This is the only thing I got that <laughs> got me through my morning show, you know. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Tequila! Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough for you. Well, there you have it, folks. You win some, you dim some. Am I right, Tim? 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 Yeah, must be going to the bank with all that cash. All right, well, join us again next time for BSW's Win Tim's Money! Bye-bye, everybody! Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of BSW versus The Dump Button, where we pit real BSW employees against tongue twisters designed to get your station a big, fat FCC fine. So let's put that dump button to good use, shall we? Now, for radio, the dump button, or profanity delay, is a life and money saver. Catching that four-letter word just in time is an art. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of a skill. Now, today, since we have none, we're going to pit BSW against the dump button. Hi there, I'm your host, Mike West. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to BSW versus the dump button. Let's meet today's contestant.
All right, and uh, who are you? My name is Nigel. I'm a marketing assistant here at BSW. And how long have you worked at BSW, Nigel? It's been, I've actually been three years. Does it feel like three years? It feels longer. <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> All right, Nigel, um, if you're not familiar with this game, here's what, what will happen. I will read a tongue twister once slowly for you, just to get it into your head. Right. And then you will read it back three times quickly. If you make it through, you get to choose something from the warehouse box of mystery. Oh, good. If good. you don't, no box of mystery for you. Good. All right, are you ready? I think I'm ready. All right, here's the tongue twister. I'm not a fan of fireflies. Those flickering, flucking fireflies, flucking suck. I hate those flickering, flucking firefly flocks. All right, Nigel, give it a go three times quickly. Go. I'm not a fan of fireflies. Oh, Nigel. Dang it. Good I, try. Kinda. Congratulations. Uh, we will not be able to show you the warehouse box of mystery. Uh, Thanks, Nigel. Thank Thanks you. for playing. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Another failure and $300,000 in an FCC fine awaits that lucky contestant. Hey, thanks for playing BSW versus The Dump Button. Hey there, I'm Nick from Gates Air for BSW. When it comes to IP codecs, there are many choices nowadays. Some old and some new. Serving the radio industry since 1922, Gates Air has brought something unique to the codec game. Our IP Link codecs are designed for use in STL applications as well as remote audio contribution and distribution networks. IP Link provides a level of flexibility, reliability, and network security not seen in any other audio over IP product. Let's check in with BSW's Mike West and take a quick look under the hood. Wait, when did we add superchargers? Mike? Mike? Oops, sorry guys, but you know, they do have similar features. For example, IP Link transports one or two bi-directional stereo audio channels. MPXP delivers FM composite baseband audio in AES-192 or analog formats. IP Link will encode the same audio source in multiple formats to multiple destinations using all the familiar coding algorithms. Metadata, relay logic, and HD data are transported time-aligned with your audio content. And reliability is achieved via dynamic stream splicing, dynamic jitter buffer, advanced forward error correction, error correction, error correction, intraplex live look, and IP Link exclusive offers network performance analytics, real-time monitoring, logging, and email alerts. Prioritize stream sources at the output with automatic failover from primary to secondary streams and backup audio sources including USB playlists. Network security is always on with three built-in independent network interface controllers, firewall on all three network ports, secure web browser user interface and SNMP network management, stream authentication using unique program identification number, and more. Thanks, Mike. There you have it the sports car of IP Codex, Intraplex IP Link, feature rich, robust, reliable, secure, and available today through BSW. Let's try another take. You want me to do it again? Really? You know guys, it's been seven hours. I think you should feed me, please. <laughs> Well, hi there, and welcome to another episode of BSW versus The Dump Button, where we pit real BSW employees against tongue twisters designed to get your station a big, fat FCC fine. So let's put that dump button to good use, shall we? Now, for radio, the dump button, or profanity delay, I'll tell you, it's really bitch and fool. Oops, <laughs> dump button time. It's a life and money saver. Catching that four-letter word just in time is an art. Well, actually, it's kind of a skill. Now, today, since we have none, we're going to pit BSW against the dump button. Hi there, I'm your host, Mike West. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. And welcome to BSW versus the dump button. Let's meet today's contestant. Well, hi there, and what's your name? My name's Jamie Singer. Jamie, how long have you been at BSW? I have been with BSW for 14 years. That's a long time. And what do you do here at BSW? I sell gear. Gear? Gear. Gear. Equipment. Good stuff. gear. BSW sells gear. That's what the... Never mind. Yeah. 
that thing. Yeah. Uh, okay, are you ready to uh, play our little game? I'm ready. Let's do this. Now, here's what happens. We have a tongue twister. I will read it once slowly, and then you have to read it three times quickly. All right? And once. if you make it through, you get to choose a prize from the mystery warehouse box of uh, good stuff. Ooh. All right? Okay. I okay, think so I can do that. Here it is. I'll read it slowly for you. All right. She shears sheep, shears sheep hours, and she slits sheets, slits sheets in towers. She splits in sinks and sits in showers. You ready? Sounds good. All right. Three times. Give it a go. Let's begin. She shears sheep. Shears sheep for hours and she slits sheets, slit sheets in towers and spits and sinks and sits and showers. Oh, I gotta do two more times. Okay, okay. She shears sheep, uh, she ships for hours and she slits sheets, uh, slit sheets in towers, she spits and sinks and sits and showers. One more time. She shears sheep, shears sleep for hours and she slits sheets, slits sheets in towers. She spits and sinks and sits and showers. Wow! Yay. Unbelievable! Is that <laughs> <fuck old? laughs> Let's get let's bring out the big mystery box of prizes here. This is the most exciting part. Probably a lot of stuff that you sell because it's BSW gear. Gear. Alright, you ready? This one feels promising. It's a box <laughs> with a yellow sticker. Now, since I don't sell gear here, what is it? Multiphones mini pod. Oh, it's a oh, multiphones mini pod. Wow! Congratulations now, and I, thanks for playing. Do I get a key? Winner. Well, there you have it, folks. Another winner, and the warehouse box of mystery did not disappoint. Thanks for playing BSW versus the dump button. Be sure to check back for more episodes and, of course, more sitting, slipping, shipping slits. <laughs> Didn't get me, did ya? Dump that, Mr. Engineer, you mo- <laughs>